Hello, uh, another episode of uh, Shape Master. Today we'll do something slightly different. Uh, for a moment, listen to this patch uh, and focus on rhythmic layer. And now I will move very slowly one of the knobs and listen to what happens to the groove. features in Shape Master that really help us uh, create uh, interesting time warps and uh, swinging grooves. Uh, and I will walk you through uh, how I did it in this case. So we will not really create other instruments or we we'll just talk about timing only. So the first thing to, under uh, to understand is that uh, channel 8 is clocking entire module. So then I took one of the three channels, channel number three, and I modulated length of this um, shape, meaning I'm modulating tempo. So right now what you hear is a straight, straightforward tempo, everything is on the, on the grid. But if we now increase amount to get to that original shape that I have. Right, so we have a swing, but it's still kind of artificial. And, and by the way, uh, you know, if you want to have straightforward swing, you would have those shapes would be even, right? I just created them to create uh, slightly more drag on the downbeat here and um, and uh, you know offbeats are slightly faster and, and less warped and uh, I did this with this last beat is, is much faster uh, to give that kind of urgency to to the rhythm so once again without with but um, as I mentioned, it's, there's still something missing here. Uh, and uh, you know, everything is still on the grid. It's just tempo is, is warped. So in addition, what I did here is I took uh, a few of the channels and I dragged them using phase. So this is a beautiful thing about Shape Master. We have phase. And remember, 0 and 360 are equal. So for those dragging beats to delay one of the channels, you just go all the way to 360 and then pull back a little bit. So I did it on my uh, generative uh, sequence, channel 1 and 2, so left, right, and they are going through a reverb that is later gated by this. So these three have to be together for this to uh, work. And uh, finally, I uh, have a shaker here, not here. So here I use another um, feature. So in addition to face shifting, there's also warp that uh, allows you to really uh, mess, uh, mess, mess up that uh, shaker a bit. So you can see this, uh, this one is rushed and, and then they are catching up over here. And finally, kick and snare are on the grid. <laughs> Something has to be on the grid. Yeah, so uh, that's the whole uh, idea and um, 
I strongly encourage you to experiment a bit with uh, shaping time. Uh, it's extremely re rewarding and uh, very, very interesting. So yeah, see you in another episode. If you want, I will uh, keep this uh, playing for a couple of minutes. And see you later. <laughs>